Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Royer. I miss you very much. This is a recording, so you can see me, but I can't see you. I look forward to the time when we can get together, when we can see each other real soon. Today, I'd like to read you a story called The Quinceañera. The Quinceañera. The, a Quinceañera is a special celebration that some girls have when they turn 15 years old. And part of that special celebration is getting a really fancy dress. So that's what this story is about. So the author of this story's name is Judith Bauer Stamper and the illustrator's name is Ishan Varma. So the quinceanera, let's get started. So here's the title page. And if you look, you can see a girl looking in the mirror, wearing a really fancy dress. That gives us some clues about the story. Hola, my name is Gabriela. This is my big sister, Rosa. She will be 15 soon. For her birthday, Rosa will have a quinceanera. It is a special celebration for a 15-year-old girl. This is my family. Rosa, mama, abuela, papa, and my brother, Eduardo. Everyone will help Rosa celebrate her quinceanera. Papa and Eduardo, Eduardo are planning the party or fiesta. Mama will make Rosa's quinceanera dress with Abuela's help. They are both good seamstresses. I listen to Rosa's plan for her big day. Now seamstress is a fancy word for dressmaker but it also can be someone who makes different kinds of clothes, but they make it themselves. They don't buy it in a store. Mama and Rosa take me with them to a big fabric store. It has rows and rows of cloth. There are also buttons, ribbons, threads, and much more. Look at all of these rows of cloth. So if you go to a fabric store like Michael's or Joanne Fabric, they have the, the fabric wrapped around a big thick piece of cardboard and that's called a bolt. Just like the metal ones, but it's, it doesn't look like the metal ones, it just has the same name. Now all of these ribbons and buttons and, and much, much more and thread they call those notions. If you're in the fabric store, that's on what the sign says, notions. First, Rosa looks through the pattern book. They are filled with sketches made by dress designers. Here's the pattern book. Rosa finds a perfect dress. It is white with pearls. I think it is beautiful too. So the pattern shows you how to cut the pieces of fabric and then sew it together. So you don't have to just look at a picture and guess, it actually gives you directions. Next, we look at the fabrics. Rosa feels each piece of cloth. The cotton is too plain, the silk is too thin, the wool is too heavy. The white satin is just right, and it is woven to be smooth and shiny. The fabric is made in Mexico. So she, chose, she touched all kinds of fabric and found one that's just right, just like Goldilocks. Mama buys everything she needs to make the dress. She picks out thread, needles, pins, and a zipper. Rosa finds tiny pearls to sew on the dress. Oh, it's gonna look just like the picture if she sews those pearls on. Back at home, Rosa calls her friends. She asks 14 girls and 14 boys 
to be part of her quinceañera court. They will all dress up and perform a special dance. I help Abuela as she mends a shawl. She wore it at her own quinceañera. Her mother wove it for her on a loom. Hey, didn't you guys learn all about number 14 yesterday? I think you did. The next day, Mama begins to make the dress. Our dining room becomes a sewing room. First, Mama spreads the fabric over the table. Then she lays the pattern pieces on the fabric and she pins them down. Next, she carefully cuts the fabric around the pattern pieces and using tracing paper, she marks the line she needs to sew on. Gotta be careful when you do these things. So this is a special kind of scissors. So it's not this kind of scissors, it's a circular scissor and you just roll it and it cuts. But you gotta be careful so that you don't cut any skin. Rosa helps pin the fabric pieces that will be sewn together. Mama opens her sewing machine and goes to work. So there it is, a sewing machine, a machine that sews. So you don't have to do it with a needle and thread in and out, in and out, like something from nothing. You can use a sewing machine. The sewing machine hums as she stitches the dress together. My cousin Tomas comes over to our house after school. We play tug of war with a scrap of leftover fabric. So it's not a piece of the dress they're making. It's one of the pieces that they cut off. So this is, this is the sewing machine right here at this part that's kind of behind her arm, only really close up. That's the part where it makes the stitches. A week later, the dress is ready for Rosa to try on. Rosa stands in front of a mirror. She has a big smile on her face and the dress drapes beautifully on her body. Mama tailors the dress to make it fit even better. Then she pins up the hem. I hold the pin cushion for her. So a pin cushion is where you put the extra pins so they don't fall on the floor and get lost. Then Mama and Rosa surprise me with a dress of my own. It is made of white satin too. I go, I will go to the quinceanera with my cousin Tomas. We will be the little couple. It's a great honor. Ooh, she looks just like her big sister. Now the quinceanera is just one day away. Everyone is busy. Mama and Eduardo roast the meat. I'm sorry, Papa and Eduardo roast the meat. Mama cooks rice and beans. Rosa and I finished the decorations for the table and Abuela sews more pearls on Rosa's dress. Ooh, pretty flowers, draped up decorations. And then here's Abuela sewing those pearls, making that dress perfect. At last, the big day is here. In the church, Rosa walks down the aisle wearing her dress. Eduardo and my mother walk with her. Fourteen boys and girls follow behind Rosa. Tomas and I lean out of our seats to watch them go by. It looks a little bit like a wedding. Have you ever been to a wedding when two people get married? They walk down an aisle like this too. It looks a little bit like that. After church, we go to a hall for the fiesta. Finally, it's time to eat. We have carnitas and tortillas and the food tastes delicioso. Next, the dancing begins. Rosa and her court do a special waltz. Da, 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 da. Tomas and I try to dance too, but he steps on my feet. Oops. I'm sure it was an accident. We love to look at the pictures from Rosa's quinceanera. My family is very happy and proud. In 10 years, I will be 15 and I will have a beautiful quinceanera dress too. I can't wait. So let's take a look at some of the pictures. It looks so much like a wedding.
All right, so this is a picture of a loom. And a loom is a special machine that takes threads and weaves it into fabric. Just something extra in the book. It has nothing to do with the story. So talk to your teacher about something that special that you celebrate with your family. I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye-bye.